You've unboxed your new Aurora Pro and set it up. Now you're looking for ways to optimize this performance. In this video, we're going to go over some of the settings built into your projector that you can leverage to create the ultimate home theater experience with lower energy consumption, quieter fans, and the absolute best color accuracy possible. If you still need to set up your Aurora Pro, check out our user instructions video instead. In this video, we'll assume that you've already set up and calibrated your projector. This is simply how you can take its performance to the next level. The first setting you can use to improve your home theater experience is Dynamic Black. This cutting edge feature has been around for a while, but is only now starting to become widely available in the projector market. And in 2023, this technology is better than ever. The way we've optimized laser dimming technology for Aurora Pro is a subtle but highly effective improvement on older projector technology. It lowers black levels with minimal cost to color accuracy. You won't notice much of a visual impact from using dynamic black during brighter scenes, but it significantly improves darker scenes, creating deeper blacks and greatly improving contrast. For the best results, we recommend using dynamic black with content optimized for HDR and Dolby Vision, since Dolby Vision's dynamic metadata enhances dynamic black, supplementing its automatic darkness detection. The overall darker output with dynamic black enabled also means that this feature helps conserve energy. In our lab, we found that dynamic black reduced energy consumption of the Aurora Pro by 30%, depending on the movie. In the long term, lower power consumption will increase the projector's lifespan, reduce your electric bill, and reduce the ambient heat generated by the projector. This in turn makes the fans run more quietly, as they won't need to work as hard to keep your projector cool. We're always striving to balance the affordability and the brightness of a projector with how loud the fans are. The Aurora Pro is well balanced, outputting a library quiet 39.9 decibels while only raising the ambient volume of our testing facility by 6.5 decibels. To get your projector to run as quietly as possible, you can follow these tips. First, make sure the room where you're watching isn't too hot. We recommend using your projector in a room with an ambient temperature below 28 degrees Celsius or 82 degrees Fahrenheit. This ensures that the fan can efficiently cool the projector using the surrounding air. Next, you can enable Eco Laser Mode or Dynamic Black. Both modes help to reduce the laser output, in turn reducing heat output, the fan speed required to cool down the machine, and the overall volume. We're always working to improve the Aurora Pro's fan performance in different environments, so if you notice any abnormal fan sounds, please reach out to us at cs at nextogo.com. Your feedback helps us improve the Aurora Pro. Finally, you can optimize your home theater experience by calibrating your color accuracy for your projector screen. Display color accuracy has become a hot button topic, as TVs with poor color accuracy have saturated the market. You may have noticed that major brands like Sony and LG have started to advertise and emphasize the color calibration capabilities of their TVs. There has been a similar shift towards delivering better color accuracy on computer monitors with a Delta E of less than 2. It can be challenging to achieve this level of color accuracy with an out-of-the-box projector due to variations in projector technology, screen material, and the conditions within the viewing room. However, we're confident that stellar color accuracy can be accomplished with the right calibration tools and with minimal adjustments by you. In fact, we have developed new technology and algorithms to ensure that your projector looks great out of the box, regardless of the type of screen you have or how dark your media room is. We are proud to introduce our screen adoption feature, which puts an end to the one-size-fits-all approach to factory color calibration. This feature provides you with four different screen options. These presets will help you to match the color grading on the Aurora Pro to the specific requirements of your screen. Please note that the screen option that matches the type of screen that you're using will not necessarily be the best option for you. For instance, PVC might be a better option for your Fresnel screen than Fresnel mode if the color temperature looks more natural to you when you're using PVC mode. If you need a point of reference, the closer the settings are to a color temperature of 6500K or D65, the better the color accuracy generally is. We understand that many people won't use a screen, and that's perfectly fine. The Aurora Pro's autocorrective algorithm performs exceedingly well on a standard white wall. With a default Fresnel or PVC option, the color is very accurate, measuring at an average delta E of less than 3, a degree of difference nearly imperceptible to the human eye. For those home theater enthusiasts and video connoisseurs, we want to ensure that you have all the necessary tools for home calibration. With the projector's built-in color management tools and a bit of experience with color calibration, you can certainly achieve a delta E of 1 on your Aurora Pro. In fact, we recently measured a Delta E of 0.9 in a video demonstration using an Aurora Pro projector that we calibrated in our lab. This impressive Delta E reading surpasses even professional-grade Hollywood studio monitors. 
Using all these settings and calibration tools, we're confident that you'll be able to create the perfect home theater experience. If you need any more support getting your projector to pro level color accuracy, leave us a comment. We'll be happy to provide further instructions in a follow-up video.